Hey there, it's Susan Pierce Thompson and welcome to the weekly vlog. I want to share with you this week two specific effects of sugar in the gut. So we're going to talk about the microbiome this week. And of course the microbiome is all the rage and rightly so. You've probably learned that there's a whole nervous system in the gut that a lot of our mood and immune system and overall health is regulated by the gut. As a matter of fact, research is showing that about 70%, 70, 70% 70 of our immune system arises out of the gut. The gut is regulating that. Uh, it's quite remarkable. So I wanna talk about two things. One is a study that was published recently and the other is a rare but really interesting condition that I'd never heard of before that has to do with sugar in the gut. So, all right, here we go. So the study is from August of 2022 and it was published in the journal Cell, a very uh, high ranking journal. And here's what the researchers found. With a large ingestion of sugar, like eating a lot of sugar, what happens is, not surprisingly, the gut bacteria don't like that, right? And sugar causes inflammation in the lining of the gut um, and damage to the lining of the gut. And good bacteria who thrive and live uh, near the lining of the gut start to die off and bad bacteria that are competing for the same resources start to take over. Uh, and specific kinds of good, good bacteria and bad bacteria don't ask me to pronounce them. So what happens, unfortunately, with those good bacteria dying off, the specific kind that lives uh, in the lining of the gut, um, they facilitate and support the T helper immune, the T helper 17 immune cells. So these specific kinds of immune cells, uh, the T helper 17 cells or TH17 cells start to die off because they don't have the support of those good microbiota. And that is devastating because the T helper immune cells, these T17, TH17 immune cells, what they do is they protect us against uh, storing fat and developing obesity and also developing diabetes. So while we have these TH17 cells in plentiful amounts, we're protected against obesity and diabetes. And when those uh, TH17 cells start to die off, we fall prey to obesity and diabetes. And it all starts with sugar in the gut. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, you know what this kind of brings up for me is during the years when I was breaking and resuming and going into the sugar and resuming, there was about four years there, 2015 to early to like 2019. During those four years, I was breaking and resuming a lot. And what I noticed is that there would be about a two to four day grace period where I could eat a lot. I could binge on sugar and flour and not pack on a ton of weight. And if I kept eating sugar and flour, what would happen was I would hit some sort of threshold, some switch would get flipped where suddenly I would start to pack on weight at a very rapid rate. And now looking back, what I realize is that two to four day grace period was probably that while I still had the beautiful gut microbiota, the beautiful flora in my gut protecting me, I didn't store a lot of weight from eating the same way, eating the same foods, the sugar and flour. As I kept eating those sugar and flour, it took two to four days for the good gut bacteria to die off the bad gut bacteria to proliferate more and more and more and more. And suddenly my body turned from a, a lean, you know, fat shunting machine to a fat storage machine and all bets were off. And it, it took that time for my gut to change over. That's my, my new working hypothesis. I'm, better, I'm right about that. I think that's probably what was going on. So that's super interesting. Okay. You ready for the second one? It's kind of crazy. Have you ever heard of 
auto brewery syndrome. So this is a syndrome where people get drunk, drunk on alcohol, drunk as a skunk, without ever actually drinking a drop of alcohol. And they get drunk because their guts ferment their own alcohol. So the people who are more susceptible to this um, have obesity, diabetes, irritable, irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease. It can be brought on by a uh, massive consumption of antibiotics as well. And with a lot of yeast, a lot of fungus in the gut, what happens is you eat a lot of sugar and flour and those refined carbohydrates are fermented right into your gut into copious amounts of alcohol. I mean, literally enough for you to get drunk on. And yes, there is a documented case of a man getting a DUI from auto brewery syndrome. Pulled over, drunk, had not had a drop of alcohol. Kind of shocking, yes. So it's very rare, it's very rare, but probably also very underdiagnosed. Uh, the symptoms kind of, people don't think, gee, maybe I'm drunk, maybe my stomach is fermenting uh, my sugar into alcohol right in front of my eyes. People just think, oh, I have a headache, oh, I'm dizzy. I get these little dizzy spells, right? It's totally underdiagnosed. So anyway, yeah. Thanks for letting me share. Here are two things we do not need to worry about thanks to doing bright line eating and avoiding sugar and flour with a clean, clear, bright line. There you have it. That's the weekly vlog. I'll see you next week.